All right, so when you sew with thread, it's a little bit different than sewing with paper, or not sewing with thread. Uh, you, again, are gonna change this to one instead of zero, and you're gonna use a stitch like the three. You're going to line up your line underneath that little thing, that little line on your presser foot, just like we did without thread. But this time, you're gonna start out by holding on to the string for the first three stitches. So, one, two, three. Now I'm just gonna sew all the way down this entire line, trying to stay on the line, just like sewing without thread. Now I'm gonna come to the end of my line and then I'm going to lift my needle, lift my presser foot, and then I'm gonna take my paper out and I'm gonna cut it right here with the cutter. So you're gonna do that over and over again. So again, hold on to the string, so your tails at the very end here for the first three stitches. And now we're just gonna go all the way down the line. I'm gonna up this to go a little bit faster. You guys are only allowed to go on the middle speed as your fastest speed. I just want to do this faster for demonstration purposes. Lift the needle, lift the presser foot, remove the paper, and cut. Do every single line. This time, when I go ahead and grade your papers, I'm gonna look to see that you guys are on the line. When I graded your paper sewing without thread, I gave everybody a completion grade just because you've never done this before, you don't know what you're doing. Now I want accuracy, so make sure you take your time and do this right. So you're doing the entire page. Pretend I did the whole thing, and then I'm gonna move on to my pivots. Pivots are so important when you are sewing with thread because now you have thread attached, so you can't just lift your presser foot and go willy-nilly. So hold on to the thread for the first few stitches, then sew all the way down to the corner. Because we have thread attached, we don't wanna go past the corner, so we're gonna have to way slow down so that we can get just right on the corner. There we go. Lift the presser foot, spin the paper, put it back down and sew down the line again. If I had lifted the presser foot, lifted the needle, I'd have that thread attached trying to get tangled. So you have to do this the right way. So go all the way down the line. Slow down. Try to get it as best as you can on that corner. Lift the presser foot, turn the paper, put it back down and sew all the way to the end and you're just gonna pivot 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 lift turn so at this point I'm stopping but you will do the entire paper now we're going to demonstrate curves so we're gonna start out right here just aligning our paper on the the curve like we have been doing we're going to change this to two right off the bat because we know that this is gonna be steep enough to need a smaller stitch length. So I'm doing stitch one, but stitch length two. So my needle is centered. Hold on to the thread for the first few stitches. And now we're just gonna slowly try to stay on the curve, just sewing as best as we can, very carefully. And I'm gonna go a little bit faster for demonstration purposes so that this video doesn't take a million years to watch. But don't go too fast while you're doing this because I want you to stay on the curve. If you're not on the curve, it's defeating the purpose of this practice. So lift your needle, lift the presser foot, pull the paper out and cut your string. So the point is to be as on this curve as possible. So you'll do the entire page. And then I'm gonna show this one. We're gonna go back to stitch length three. You are pivoting on this one. So we're gonna start at one and we're going to sew to two. So hold on to the string for the first few stitches. Get to two. 
Now pivot to three. Pivot to four. Pivot to five. Pivot to six. Pivot to seven. So just pivot, 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 pivot. All the way until you get to 12. Stop, pull your thread out, cut it, start on number 13, and go to 14, 15, 16, and continue to the end. So we've done this paper, we know how to do it, but now we're doing it with thread. So every single paper that you've already sewn without thread, you are going to now sew with thread. When you're completely finished sewing all of these pages, you're gonna staple them together, put your name on them, and turn them into me. So this should take at the very, very least two days, probably two and a half to three days to do in class. And that is all.